To start off this recipe, I'm going to render five pieces of bacon. While my bacon is rendering, I'm going to cut up my apples. For this recipe, I'm using four Grady Smith plus two Pink Ladies. I'm going to go ahead and peel the apples, cut them in half and then in half again, and remove the core. Once you get all of your apples chopped up, go ahead and set them over to the side. Once your bacon is done rendering, go ahead and remove it from the pan and put it on a paper towel to drain. We're going to chop this and use it as a garnish. Now, as for this, I went ahead and drained all of the bacon grease except for a tiny little bit, maybe a teaspoon or so, and I'm going to leave all of these little bits inside of here. I'm going to go ahead and add in a half of a cup of butter, that is one stick, along with half of a cup of brown sugar, and I'm going to melt this down on the stove. So here is my butter and sugar melting on the stove, and I'm just kind of scraping all of those bacon bits into it as we go. It's going to give it just a hint of bacon. It's not going to be overpowering, but it is going to be there. I'm going to go ahead and add a pinch of salt, just a tiny little bit to bring out the flavor, about an eighth of a teaspoon, maybe even a little bit less than that, a pinch. Do a little switch here to a wooden spatula just to really get all of those bits off of the bottom. Now that my butter and sugar are nice and melted down and looking all sexy light, getting nice and bubbly here, I'm going to go ahead and add in my apples. And I want to toss these around to get them nice and evenly coated. Next, I'm going to put a lid on these. I have them on number 5 out of 10 on my digital stove, and I'm going to let them cook for about 10 minutes. So here we are 10 minutes later. These apples are nice and soft at this point. I'm going to go ahead and add in my spice. This is my apple pie spice mixture. You can look in the description and I will leave you my measurements. Or if you'd like to, you can click on the video. I will leave that for you also. I make it a little bit different than what you buy in the store. Of course, if you want to go with the store-bought, feel free to do that as well. The last thing that we need to do is thicken up all of this beautiful juice that we have down in here. So to do that, I'm going to add in a slurry. I made this by combining two tablespoons of cornstarch along with two tablespoons of water. You want to make sure to stir this together really well so that you don't have any clumps. Give that a nice little stir, let it come back up to a boil, and that's going to thicken the sauce right up. This is what these are looking like. Go ahead and plate them, garnish them up with that bacon that you chopped up, and they are ready to serve. I will leave you some suggestions of what you can serve these with. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, and happy cooking, everyone!